Now everyone is familiar with Drumway ML and Pika Labs as they are the most well-known tools for AI video generation. However, the problem is we don't have much control on our animations because most of the times we didn't get our desired results. But the problem is solved now as we have more controls on our output videos. And in this video, I'll show you the new features that both of these AI tools have just introduced. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So first of all, let's talk about Runway ML. So if you go to the Runway ML and click on that image to video option and just below the prompt section, now you can see we have another option called motion. So if you click on that, you can see we have the slider to adjust the motion and you can control your motion all the way from zero to 10 and 10 is the maximum limit. So if you want to apply less motion in your videos, so you can keep your values around one, two and three. And if you want more motion in your videos, you can take the slider up to five and 6% and even higher than that. So we're also gonna try these settings with our image. But first of all, let's talk about an other option that is custom camera controls. So this option is recently added. So if I click on that custom camera motion, you can see our beta tag on that. And now you can see we have a couple of options to play around with. So we have the horizontal, vertical, zoom in effect, zoom out effect, and even rolling effect. So let me upload an image and then we will apply all of these settings. So this is an image of a 4S. So let's say I want to apply a zoom in effect in it. So I'm gonna click on that zoom in effect. And if you want to apply more effects like horizontal or a vertical style, you can even click on that, but I'm happy with the zoom in effect. And I want to keep the motion around 6% and let's generate. And I'm also gonna try the same image with different settings. So let's say this time I want a zoom out effect and the motion will be around 2% and let's generate. Okay, so this is the first video where you can see a zoom in effect and much more motion in our video. And this is the video with 2% motion and zoom out effect with very minimal and smooth motion in it. So you guys can play around with different settings like zoom out effect, zoom in effect, roll effect, vertical, horizontal effect. So it all depends on you. And one more feature that I think most of you guys know about is a watch feature. So if we click on that watch feature, and you can see the videos that people have generated using this tool. And we have some featured videos over here. So if you guys want to upload your own videos, you can also do that. So if you guys have generated any short film or animation, uh, so you can click on that submit creation. And if they approves your video, you will be featured on their website. Now let's talk about Pika Labs, which is a free alternative of Runway ML. So if we go to the Pika Labs and go to the command section, now you can see we have an other option called animation. So if you click on that, you just have to upload your video and this will animate your video. So it actually works like the Runway ML's image to video. So if you guys are already using Pika Labs, you know that we wasn't able to generate our video without entering the prompt. So let's click on that generate. And we also have another command to control the FPS. So simply type dash FPS and we have a maximum limit of 24 FPS. So I'm gonna type 24 and hit generate and now you can generate 24 frames per second video. So these are the results from our image to animation and now you can see we don't have any funkiness on the face, we can't see any flickering effect on the eyes and in terms of quality it's also much much better. And we also have some other commands like GS values and motion values. So I have already made a detailed video on that where I explained each and every setting. So if you haven't watched that video make sure to check that out. And I also have a complete playlist on AI animations where I shared new techniques and new AI tools that you can use to level up your AI video generation. So that was a short video on the new features of both of these AI tools. So if you guys like AI animations, video generation, image generation and cool AI stuffs, you can subscribe Planet AI because a lot of content is coming up. So if you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.